Welcome back friends. In this video, <coughs> I'm going to do some examples randomly taken from uh, this examination called IGCSC Foundation Tire. Okay, now the first question is, uh, three, th 330 million speak, 330 million people speak English. 70% of these live in the US. Work out 70% of 330 million. So you won't write in the answer in million. So when you, whenever you want to find any person, the best way is to find first the 10%. So 10% is 110. So you divide this by 10, so that is 33 million. 10% is 33 million, just like that. So 70%, this is how many times? 10, 70% is how many times of 10%? So well, I said this is 7 times. So to get the 70 person, you have to times it by 70, by 7. So this would be, so if you don't want to use a calculator, so that is 30 times 7 is 210 million. And then you've got a 3 times 7, which is 21. Okay, that is 231 million. So the answer is 231. Or if you want to use a calculator, 31 Seven per seventy percent is seventy out of hundred, which is zero point seven times three hundred and thirty. To just to check your answer, so it is two hundred and thirty-one million. So your answer is right. Okay, the next question is three hundred and thirty-two million speak Spanish. One forty-three million of these people live in South Africa, South America. Work out 143 million as a percent of 332 million. So you want to find 143 out of 332 as a percent. So what you do is 143 divided by 332. So that will be out of 1. And you want to write as a percent, so you'll have to times it by 100. Now we have to correct. You, you have to write your answer in one decimal place. So you'll need a calculator. So it's 143 divided by 332, which is out of 1, <coughs> times it by 100. And you want to round it to one decimal place. So which is 43.07. So whenever you're rounding to the one decimal place, you look at the second number. Second number is 7, so you have to round the, you round up the, number after one decimal place so it is 43.1 percent so my answer would be 43.1 percent so here it's the answer 43.1 percent okay now this is an equation uh, example of solving you want to find the value of x so when you're solving equation what you're doing is you are the two sides, this is called the left hand side. This is in short written as LHS, and this is the right hand side, which is RHS. So these are two sides of a balance. If I can draw a balance, suppose imagine this is a balance. Okay, this is balance. Okay, and this is the other side of the balance. This is a good analogy to understand the solving equation. Okay, so and there are some weight now the balance the balance will be balanced when you have the same weight on both sides it doesn't look a perfect balance okay so to balance a balance you you know that you have to have the same weight on both the sides so treat an equation as a balance so whatever you do on one side you have to do on the other side okay to balance the equation so i want to find x so what I'm going to do is I want to eliminate this 9. So I have to take away 9 from this side. So I have to take away 9 from this side. Okay, so keep this basic uh, rule in mind. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. Okay, or and the second thing that you, do, re, you have to remember is to get to 1, what happened first? 2 was multiplied by x and then added 9. So whatever happened last, you have to undo that first. So you're undoing this plus 9, which happened last, to get to 1. So the next step is 2x is equal to 1 take away 9. You should know is negative 8. So 
So you have undone this 9. So the next step is you have to undo this 2. So this is 2 times x. So you have to divide this side by 2 because it's multiplied by x. If you divide this side by 2, you have to also divide this side by 2. So this and this gets cancelled. So x is equal to negative 4. So the answer is negative 4. Okay, the last question. You want to write this in terms of y or what's the, oh, sorry, yeah, what is y? So here you have got, so I'll do this in a different way. So can I say this is 5y? Can I write this 5y as 2y plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 2y plus 7? Okay, so yeah, basically what I've done is I've made this as 2y and 3, 2y plus 3y. So you got a 2y here, you got a 2y here, and you got a 2y here. So imagine this as a balance, again two sides of a balance. So you, you can take away, uh, if you take away 2y from this side, you can also take away 2y from this side. So the next step would look like 3y minus 4 is equal to 7. Now I want to get rid of the 7. Okay, so what's the opposite of 7? The opposite of 7 is, sorry, the opposite of negative 4 is plus 4. So you do the opposite. So adding 4 to this side, so you have to add 4 to this side. So what happens? So this and this gets cancelled. This is 3y is equal to 4, 7 plus 4 is 11. And the last step is you have to divide this side by 3. So you have to divide this side by 3. So y is 11 over 3, which is 3 goes in 11, 3 times. And you got a 2 remainder. So y is 3 and 2 thirds. Or if you want to write as a decimal, this is 3.66 recurring. Okay, see you in the next video.